Hello, my name is Thomas. I'm a registered nurse. I want to demonstrate how to perform the CPR. Once you establish that a casualty has stopped breathing and is unconscious, you need to be ready to give the chest compression. Remember, chest compression could save a life. Okay? So after you have established that there is no obvious danger around the patient, you have elicited the response and the patient is unconscious and is not breathing, you need to perform CPR as early as you can. So you quickly look at the sternum. So when looking at the sternum, you need to, you need to divide it into thirds and you grab the lower third using the non-dominant hand, cover it with the dominant hand Remember the dominant one hand is the one that is going to apply more pressure, okay? And the arm should be straight. Then you should be ready to give the chest compressions, okay? The chest compression should be at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute and a depth of 5, but you should not exceed 6 centimeters deep, okay? So let's go guys, you can count with me. Once you get to 30 compression, you quickly give the rescue breath. So here I have the arm back. You can see the nasal side, the mouth side, and I'm going to put it on my, apply it on my patient and make a C using the EC clamp technique. So the E is formed by the three fingers. The C is formed by the thumb and the index finger. So the work of the thumb and the index finger is to make a seal on the mask and the three fingers, middle, ring, and small finger, are going to lift the cheek, okay? So that to keep the airway open, okay? Let's go, guys. So this way, and this way, okay? So in this case, I'm going to give the rescue breath. So you can count with me now, one. One, two, very good. Don't over ventilate, okay? Remember to just give one in a slow motion. One, two, great. Then you quickly continue with the chest compressions, okay? Keep the chest compression until the EED arrives, okay? Remember, after every two minutes, if you are two, you need to exchange so that at least you swap, the other one can do the compression while you perform the breath sound, okay? Thank you so much.